Hey folks, I've got some exciting progress on the animatronic parrot kits. Now, in a previous video, you saw me 3D scan the clay sculptures that I had done for the parrot. And since then, I took those sculptures into ZBrush and I cleaned them up, re-sculpted a bit, and redesigned them as hollow pieces that all fit together and have room inside of them for the mechanics, which we'll get to soon. And while I was working on that, I was contacted and asked if I would be interested in using this longer LK4X 3D printer in a project. And I said, that's perfect timing because I need to 3D print some prototype parts for the Parrot. So this uh, video, I'm just gonna talk about the Parrot kit. And in the next video, which will be in maybe a week or so, I will have a review on this printer and then shortly after that, we'll get back into the Parrot and I'll show what I'm working on for the mechanical structures. But today, let's just take a look at this. I've got the uh, body here, which is in two pieces as the wings and the belly, and those fit together like that. On the actual kits, these will probably be vacuum formed pieces like on the Raven, but being able to 3D print them on an FDM machine like this made it a lot easier than if I had to produce molds for vacuum forming. This way we just get one sample out really quickly so I can see if it's doing what I need. These I printed on a lower quality setting because I just needed the shape to see if it was gonna work. But the head is the really fun piece right now. These I printed on a shorter layer height to get better detail. Now again, these are prototype parts. So on the actual kit, these parts that have more detail will have more detail. You're not gonna get all these layer lines. Um, but there actually are some pieces that are going to be FDM 3D printed on the kits. And those are some brackets and things that will allow you to position servos and pieces of acrylic at angles that you wouldn't otherwise be able to. This is one of the ways that the Parrot Kit is going to be different from the Raven. It's just kind of opening up the doors to a different type of assembly. Now the head is in three pieces. You have the back of the head, the face, and the beak. And you can see that we've already got a little beak action there. I found in putting this together that I need to make some adjustments in order to get the range of motion on the beak that I want. Um, but that's why I prototype like this. I found that I am someone who benefits from just producing prototypes quickly rather than trying to get everything perfect before making the first one. I know that something's going to be wrong with it and better to just get everything out in the real world so that I can find out what those problems are fast and uh, be able to correct them. One thing that I think is pretty cool about this is that the face I have attached with magnets. And that's because this piece really doesn't have anywhere to hide an attachment point. So by putting magnets on the inside, we can snap it all together without any problems. The back of the head is going to be covered in a fake fur to simulate feathers, just like the Raven kit was. And by having this attachment point, you're going to be able to mask the seam of the edge of that fur underneath the edge of the skin. I've also got these eyes that I'm trying out here, which I think is going to be really nice to give the um, illusion of a, a more realistic eye. They have a nice depth to them, which I think is going to be a nice addition to the kit. The beak here, you can get a little preview of what I'm working on with the acrylic laser cut pieces here. And again, there'll be more on those very soon. But you can see the beak is actually attached directly to that jaw servo right now. We'll see how this goes. All of this could change by the time I get to the actual kit, but having something in hand makes it a lot easier for me to make decisions on if this is actually how I wanna do it and if there's any problems that I didn't foresee happening. The acrylic piece seats into the back of the head here and screws to it. And so in the end, 
you'll end up with something kind of like this. And I think it's gonna be great. I'm happy with where this is headed. I'm happy with what these prototypes are teaching me and I'll have more soon, so stay tuned. Thank you to Longer for sending me their LK4X 3D printer. I will have a review on this printer in maybe a week or so. I'm definitely looking forward to using this in more of my prototyping process. And speaking of that, there is of course more on the animatronic parrot kit coming. Um, you'll probably wanna subscribe if you are interested in that. Next up, I'm going to be showing some of my mechanical design process and it should be pretty cool. So I will hopefully see you all soon. There's a link in the description that will get you a discount on the longer LK4X 3D printer. And it really does help me if you click on that and check it out if this is something that you're interested in.